my name is Delisha Saw, and I'm a professor at the Brown School. I am really excited today to be sharing a bit about Anistimus with you all. Anistimus was an enslaved African American who taught colonists the practice of inoculation, which would lead to the creation of the first ever vaccine and the eventual elimination of smallpox. We don't know much about Anistimus. Many of the information about him has been taken from diary accounts of the minister who enslaved him. We don't know his birth name, we don't know his age, or anything about his life after he bought his freedom. What we know is that in 1721, Boston was dealing with a smallpox outbreak that had a 14% mortality rate. For comparison, the current mortality rate in the United States for the coronavirus is less than 2%. So 14% was a pretty uh, big deal. Anissimus shared with the man who enslaved him about an African medicinal practice called inoculation that could prevent people from getting sick. He described a process where you take a person who has smallpox and get some pus from one of their sores. Then you cut the arm of someone who doesn't have smallpox and you rub the pus in it. Anissimus said he had gone through this process in his country and that he got a little bit sick, but then he was fine. His enslaver believed what he was saying because he noticed that many of his other enslaved people were not catching smallpox at the rate of colonists. He began spreading the word of inoculation as a way to mitigate the smallpox crisis and was met with a lot of skepticism. Other colonists thought the idea of intentionally making yourself sick to prevent sickness was laughable. In fact, many even believed that this idea was an attempt on by Onesimus to poison white people and to start a slave uprising. And I can totally understand why they thought this because it was not too long before when they had done a similar thing and used biological warfare with smallpox in their colonial genocide of indigenous people. Eventually though, the minister found a doctor who was willing to test his theory on his enslaved people and later his six-year-old son. Of the 280 people who were inoculated, only six died from smallpox. And so when inoculation trials were tested on colonists, the mortality rate decreased from 14% to 2%. In 1796, another doctor used the inoculation technique to create the first ever vaccine. And in 1980, the World Health Organization declared that smallpox had been completely eradicated due to global immunization making it the first and only infectious disease to be completely eliminated. So as we are sitting inside quarantine because we are currently in the midst of a global health crisis where our best defense option is a vaccine, I am so grateful to Anissimus, to our African ancestors and their medicinal practices, including the practice of inoculation. Happy Black History Month.